Good morning, everyone. Can we try that one more time? Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> and welcome, distinguished guests and employees here at headquarters and watching across the nation to celebrate the 2013 Secretary's Honor Awards. My name is Tony Nguyen. In my daily work, I am currently serving as the Acting Director for the Office of Human Capital Strategy, Budget and Performance Metrics here at the Department of Energy. But this morning, it is my pleasure to serve as your host for today's award ceremony. Each year, the Secretary presents the Honor Awards, the highest form of non-monetary recognition given to DOE employees, to a very select group of employees for outstanding accomplishments in support of our mission. Congratulations to all of you receiving recognition today, and thank you for your dedicated service and contributions to the Department of Energy and the nation. Before we continue with the program, a few housekeeping items. Please take a moment to notice the, uh, the emergency exits. In the event of an emergency, we will exit the building and assemble up the hill behind this building at Banneker Circle. Please take a moment also to double check that your cell phones, Blackberries, electronic devices are all on silent mode. For our award recipients to help with uh, your photographs, please remove or tuck in your badge before coming up on stage. And also for our recipients especially, please relax and enjoy this special moment to celebrate your accomplishments. And now on to the program. I ask you to please rise for the presentation of colors by the Joint Armed Forces Color Guard. say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail as the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight while the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets rang the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet or the land of the free and the Thank you to, you may be seated, thank you. And thank you to Patrice Carthern, Office of Economic Diversity, for your stunning rendition of our national anthem.
I am truly honored to introduce today's keynote speaker, Secretary Moniz. As an employee of Human Capital, I've had the privilege of supporting and helping to implement Dr. Moniz's vision for excellence in management and performance by the Department of Energy. Dr. Moniz and his leadership team with Deputy Secretary Dan Poneman have inspired me, as he has so many of us, to pursue big improvements in mission support, that we may continue to enable the great mission accomplishments that we are celebrating today. Please join me in giving a very warm welcome to our Secretary of Energy, Dr. Ernest, Ernest Moniz. Apologies. Thank you, sir. That was a good voice. <laughs> well, thanks, Tony. And, uh, I think you may have actually improved the pronunciation of my name, actually, uh, there. Um, but, um, uh, and I, I really want to thank as well um, uh, all of you who are here, uh, especially the awardees, and maybe even most especially their family and friends. Uh, I do want to also recognize uh, Deputy Secretary Poneman. Uh, why don't you stand up? <laughs> so, <laughs> just to uh, say that. Uh, Dan and I, as you all know, have been a very close team um, going back long before either of us came to DOE, in fact, uh, but certainly here as well. Uh, I also want to follow up on a comment that, uh, that Tony made that uh, you know, one of our uh, uh, really principal, not one of our, the principal, I would say, reorganization that we did was uh, to bring a focus to management performance, establishing a new undersecretaries position, a new, a new organizational uh, structure, and uh, today, of course, uh, uh, maybe today suggests uh, some, some of the people for whom we wouldn't need an organization, no matter how we're organized, uh, they, they would perform uh, in an outstanding way, but, but, but really they just exemplify uh, the importance of our, of our focus on, on, on management and, uh, and performance. Uh, as I've said many times, including from this podium, uh, the, uh, the work of the department uh, really is critical uh, to, uh, to our country's uh, prosperity, uh, certainly our science and energy agenda, uh, to our security, uh, particularly nuclear security in all of its facets, uh, and to our responsibility uh, uh, to the American people and especially the communities with whom we have worked so long uh, to, to clean up uh, uh, some of the relics uh, of the uh, of of the uh, of the Cold War, and uh, and today we'll see in our in our awards uh, uh, outstanding performers who who uh, who've addressed uh, all of these critical uh, critical missions. These are tough challenges: um, uh, enhancing nuclear security, uh, competitiveness in clean energy, uh, again cleaning up the Cold War legacy, um, uh, unleashing uh, uh, innovation, uh, underpinning the country's uh, scientific. Uh, research enterprise, uh, again, uh, all of the things we do, many of them involving very, very tough uh, challenges, and we're going to see some of those, uh, some of the successes uh, uh, recognized uh, uh, today. Uh, just emphasize that, uh, again, you all know the, the history of the department, uh, our roots, our predecessor agencies, uh, uh, but at that time uh, and today, I really want to emphasize as I do frequently, I don't get tired of doing it, that this is an organization underpinned by science and technology. It's really what we do. Uh, we are an s and powerhouse, uh, and we need to be uh, if we are going to succeed uh, in the missions that we are, uh, we are uh, entrusted with. Uh, so, I, you know, we've had big challenges before. We have challenges now. We'll continue to meet them uh, as we have, and, and the people we're honoring uh, today uh, are really a big part of the reason why I think we have confidence uh, in our ability to do that. These secretarial honor awards uh, highlight, again, remarkable contributions by remarkable um, uh, staff of the Department of Energy. Uh, there are opportunities uh, for me and, and the Deputy Secretary uh, to recognize and, and, and thank the employees who have gone the extra mile uh, in service uh, to this department, but really to the, uh, to the, to the American people. Um, you know, the, when tough challenges arise, you know, uh, I think it's something that you know, these, the people we'll be honoring today, these are the ones who, you know, raise their hands and sign up and get to work. Uh, or as we say, they like to run to the fight uh, and, uh, and, and tackle these, uh, these tough challenges. 
Uh, they do so in the spirit of public service, um, uh, looking to make our country and our world a better place. Uh, to quote Tom Brokaw, it's easy to make a buck, it's a lot tougher to make a difference. And, uh, and I think the people we honor today uh, fall into that category, making a difference, uh, making, again, making the country safer, stronger, cleaner, and more secure. Uh, the awards we'll bestow today uh, are two in nature, uh, the Achievement Award for Significant Team Accomplishments uh, and the Excellence Award for Individual Achievement, Performance, uh, and Leadership. You know, we often say to the department that our greatest asset is our people. Many say that, and, and you know, some may think it's kind of trite to say it, but I don't care. Today points to why it's true, uh, and, uh, and that's what's really important. So I'm, I'm certainly honored uh, 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 and, and grateful to have these awardees uh, on our team. Uh, and I'm sure in the months and years ahead, uh, they will not rest on the laurels of these awards and will, will further contribute to our, to our important, uh, important uh, work. So um, I just finished by extending my thanks beyond the awardees um, to their families. Uh, you know, when, when they sign up, you sign up. Uh, the hours can be long. Um, uh, I have not been complimented on encouraging uh, long, uh, long, uh, long hours here at the department, but we have a lot to do, and, uh, and uh, I really appreciate those who willingly uh, uh, contribute in that way, uh, contribute long hours, uh, contribute on a lot of travel to our, to our far-flung uh, uh, sites, uh, and to their families who um, have sacrifices as these, uh, as these individuals uh, carry out their, their outstanding work. So again, congratulations to the awardees, and I'm going to turn it back to Tony so that we can move uh, to the awards themselves. Shall I go back down or stay up here? Um, we're going to ask you to stand here so that we okay. can the individual accomplishments. Are you okay with that? Uh, for the group picture? We'll do that next week. For the group picture. So before the program got started, uh, I made a joke about Ellen DeGeneres. Little did I realize I would invoke more John Travolta than Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> and now on to the program. As the Secretary mentioned, we have a number of Secretary of Energy's Achievement Awards. This award is bestowed upon a group or team of DOE employees and or contractors who together accomplished significant achievements on behalf of the department. These groups have demonstrated cooperation and teamwork in attaining their goals. For our first team, the Control System Security Operations Center, establishing a national capability to ensure secure U.S. critical infrastructure. In recognition of the team of security professionals from DOE's Office of Intelligence and Counterintelligence and the Idaho National Laboratory for significantly improving the security of our critical infrastructure by establishing the Control System Security Operations Center, or CSOC, into an accredited DOE intelligence facility, establishing the CSOC within a secured intelligence facility at the Idaho National Laboratory was in response to requests from the Department of Homeland Security's Undersecretary for Intelligence and Analysis to support the Department of Homeland Security's Instrumentation Control System Cyber Emergency Response Team, or the ICS, ICS CERT. Conducting operations within this facility enables ICS CERT to respond to immediate cybersecurity threats to the industrial control system risks used across all U.S. critical infrastructure and key resource sectors. This nomination recognizes the integrated efforts of these intelligence security officers and facility specialists to design, schedule, and execute the necessary facility and procedural modifications required to create this operational resource response center. This project was completed successfully to meet all user needs while in compliance with all safety, security, environment, and procurement requirements. Construction and installation of systems were completed simultaneously without impact to ongoing classified program research and development activities. Since this capability was established, ICS CERT, federal and Idaho National Laboratory researchers have responded to more than 120 reported cybersecurity incidents from U.S. infrastructure owners, and they have published over 50 advisories and alerts in response to evolving cyber threats to
to national security. I would now like to recognize the team members. June A. Cutler, Debbie DeCoria, Cindy J. Garner, Chandra D. Harris, Randall H. Hughes. Um, oh, actually. <laughs> and uh, we'll now continue with the team awards. <clears throat> Eric K. Jackson. That's taking ownership to a new level. Stephen K. Lavelle, Ricky N. Nagel Kerr, Wayne D. Ridgeway, and Collis Woods. Chandra and Eric, if you would join the Secretary and Deputy Secretary for a group picture. Chandra, go ahead and hold on to it, you Chandra, you've earned it. <laughs> hold on to that, you have earned it. Sure, okay, sure, thank you. And our next team, we are celebrating the achievements of the Copperhead Improvised Explosive Device, or IED, detection team. In recognition of the successful delivery and ongoing support of Copperhead Improvised Explosive Device, or IED, detection systems that have dramatically reduced the number of U.S. and other coalition force troop casualties in theater. I would now like to re recognize the team members, Christopher Adolph, James C. Barlow, Jeffrey D. Bradley, Brian L. Burns. Henry J. Coakley, Jana M. Coakley, W. Rusty Escapool, Gary K. Freilich, John T. Fuller, Alex Gonzalez, Emmett J. Garul, William H. Hensley, Jim J. Hudgens, J. Doug Jordan, Philip M. Call, Ryan Keith, Daryl L. Kirby, Christina B. Komenek, Dale E. Lipke, Jennifer L. London, Lee H. Marshall, Molly McCandless, Scott Nance, Norm L. Padilla, James W. Riddell, Robert Riley, Stephen C. Rose, Heidi Ruffner, Peter A. Scholander, Adam R. Tanous. <laughs> Douglas G. Thompson, Bertice L. Tees, and Kathy Woods. If the team would go for a team photo.
And now we would like to celebrate the counterintelligence initiatives in recognition of exceptional accomplishments associated with counterintelligence initiatives that have helped protect the Department of Energy and U.S. national security interests. Through the application of specialized and multidisciplinary subject matter, expertise, extraordinary dedication and initiative, significant results have been achieved to counter the activities of foreign adversaries. I would now like to recognize the members of the Counterintelligence Initiatives team, Tammy Carr, Kevin Kerlock, Nina Kois, Dan Dunn, Tony Frangello, Timothy Frost, Susie Gaines, Adam Lavec. Jeremy Eisen. Jennifer Jackson. Ralph Kennerson. Donna Magruder. Steve Rother. Rob Sasak. Daniel Sahusky. Sean Sullivan, Christy Trent, and James Whitehouse. Sean Sullivan, thank you. If the team would join for the group picture, please.
the Gemini Experimental Series Team. In recognition of their contributions to the Gemini Experimental Series Team and for their outstanding and remarkable contributions to the nation's stockpile stewardship program. The many contributions include, but are not limited to, the physics design technology development, detailed engineering, part fabrication and assembly, operational and experimental execution, and data analysis of the Gemini test series. The transformational technologies that were developed, as well as the improvements to dual access Cygnus radiography in U1A, though all were unexpected when Gemini was first formulated in April 2011, will have an enduring impact on the design, data quantity, quality, and analyses of all future weapons experiments. Furthermore, the data from the integral experiments, including H4080, have already informed primary design codes, and provided extraordinarily important data for the predictive capability framework community. I would now like to recognize the team members, Timothy Fife, Michael Furlanetto, James Gatling, Jeffrey Hylock. Deborah Johnson, Gary Mascali. Brian Oliver, Jeffrey Paisner, <laughs> Rafi Papazian. Christopher Romero, and Gary Wall. If the team would join for a photo, please. We now recognize the Global Nuclear Material Removal Team. In recognition of contributions to the Presidential Initiative to secure vulnerable nuclear material around the world in four years, this effort led to the removal and or elimination of a cumulative total of over 5,000 kilograms of highly enriched uranium and separated plutonium, enough material for over 200 nuclear weapons. 
This included safely and securely completing over 55 shipments from 27 countries and the removal of all highly enriched uranium from 12 countries. In addition, the team completed an exhaustive four-year study to reconcile the location of all U.S. origin HEU expert exports. These actions directly supported President Obama's international effort to secure the most vulnerable nuclear material worldwide by the end of 2013 and have made the United States and the entire international community safer from the threat of nuclear terrorism. And we now recognize the team members. Ken Allen. Trent Andes, Arthur Atkins, Stephen Bellamy, Andrew Bieniowski, Igor Bolshinsky. Greg Chandler, Kelly Cummins, John Dews, Sarah Dickerson, Carrie Dunn, Michael Dunsmuir, Becky Eddy. Jeffrey Galan, Yusri Gohar. H. Allen Gunter, Elizabeth Hackney, Todd Hawk. Natraj Iyer, David Lopez, James Matos, Ross Matskin Bridger, Charles Messick, Stan Moses, Glenn Fenningworth, Scott Ravenhill, Scott Roker, Kenneth Sheely. Jay Thomas, Mike Tyak, James Villarreal, Brent, Brent Wilhoit, and Cheryl Young. And if the team would come up for a uh, group photo.
We now recognize the accomplishments for liquefied natural gas non-free trade agreement authorizations. In recognition of contributions by the liquefied natural gas non-free trade agreement authorizations team for their dedication to meeting regulatory requirements and fostering the public interest in their review process of exporting domestically produced liquefied natural gas to countries that do not have a free trade agreement with the United States. Their efforts led to three authorizations in a very short time frame. These accomplishments have contributed to the increase in domestic natural gas production in the United States. We now recognize John A. Anderson. Cassandra S. Bernstein. Yvonne G. Codillo. Lisa M. Craig. Beverly L. Howard. Brian D. Lavoy. Lorene A. Moore. Edward B. Myers. Charles G. Painter. John J. Pierdal, Jr. Dilpreet Singh. Mark P. Talbert. Lisa C. Tracy. John S. Shikororo.
Samuel T. Walsh. And Natalie Wood. If the team would come back to the stage for the group photo. Thank you. I wish I could tell you this is uh, intermission. We'll be back after 10 minutes. <laughs> Instead, I will invite you to uh, continue to demonstrate your dedication and resilience in service to the Department of Energy. <laughs> we now recognize the Salt Weight, um, I'm sorry, Salt Waste Disposal Technologies Team. Salt Waste Disposal Technologies Team. In recognition of the successful execution of a large scale long-term multi-institutional effort that combined fundamental and applied research, technology development and scale-up, and commercialization to develop and deploy new technologies for the safe and cost-effective disposition of large volumes of radioactive salt waste, enabling a substantial reduction in the department's legacy environmental footprint. We now recognize Scott A's, Celia I. Aponte, Dr. Hassan A. Arafat, Professor Richard A. Barch, Dr. Joseph F. Birdwell, Jr., Sonitza M. Blanco, Dr. Peter V. Bonison, William B. Brazel, Earl A. Brass, Stephen J. Brown, Dr. Ronald L. Bruning, Mark Brew, Dr. Thomas D. Burns, Seth G. Campbell, Joseph T. Carter, Dr. David B. Chamberlain, Maggie M. Clark, Clifford J. Connor. Dr. Jian Dai, Dr. Leticia H. 
Delmau, Professor Dale D. Enser, John R. Falkenberg, Dr. Samuel L. Samuel D. Fink, Dr. Fernando F. Fondur, Dr. Arthur M. Foster, Margaret P. Foster, Anna G. Garrison, Mark W. Geating, Brent A. Gifford, Dr. Brent A. Gifford. Thank you, sir. Dr. Harry D. Harmon, David T. Herman, Dr. David T. Hobbs, Stephen R. Izat, Tamara J. Kiever, Dr. Leon N. Klatt. Dr. Christoph E. Krakowiak. I'm not disappointed he's not here. <laughs> Jack D. Law. Ryan D. Lynch. Dr. Ralph A. Leonard. Robert K. Lugamores. Dr. Greg J. Lumetta. Sergio J. Masul. Dr. Bruce A. Moyer. William E. Narrows, Dr. Michael A. Norato, Michael R. Norton, Dr. Candido Pereira, Dr. Dean R. Peterman, Dr. Thomas B. Peters, Robert A. Pierce, Dr. Michael R. Poirier, Dr. Monica C. Regalbuto, Michael L. Restivo, Dr. Benjamin D. Roach, Sarah S. Rocha, Kenneth J. Reuter, Dr. Richard A. Sackleben, <laughs> Timothy Schatzer, Roy J. Sheppens, Dr. Kevin L. I'm sorry, Roy J. Sheppens. <laughs> Dr. Kevin L. W. Sequoia. Alois Singer, Frederick V. Sloop, Jr., Terrell J. Spears, Steve Spell, Renee H. Spires, Alan B. Stevens, Patricia C. Suggs, Paul J. Patricia C. Suggs. It looks like I got about a 1 in 12 chance here. <laughs> Paul J. Talbot, Dr. Major C. Thompson, Dr. Terry Todd, Professor Vincent Van Brunt. Dr. George F. Vandergrift, Dr. Daryl D. Walker, Dr. Thomas L. White, Neil J. Williams, Dr. William R. Wilmarth, and Donna M. Yarbrough. If the team would come back to the stage for the group photo.
The Salt Waste Processing Facility 2013 Renegotiation Team. This award is given in recognition of the successful renegotiation of the completion of construction of the Salt, Wall salt Waste Processing Facility at the Savannah River site, resulting in a negotiated savings in excess of $235 million and schedule acceleration of more than two and, a, two and one half years beyond the contractor's proposed positions. This significant accomplishment will facilitate the safe and efficient completion of construction of this critical component of the Savannah River Site Liquid Waste Tank Cleanup Program. Techniques applied during the negotiation will serve as a model for future contracts within the department. Once completed and operational, the SWPF will provide the capability to separate over 30 million gallons of salt waste into a high activity, low volume fraction for vitrification in the defense waste processing facility and low activity, high volume for treatment and on-site disposal as a grouted saltstone waste. We now recognize Anne Marie Bird, Terence J. Brennan, Shane S. Farrell, Dean L. Hammonds, Ralph E. Holland, Fraser R. Lockhart, Philip A. Polk, Melissa Ryder. Samuel A. Stewart and Joseph G. Werbridge. We now have the Savannah River Site F-Tank Farm Closure Team. We are celebrating the team's accomplishments, not merely that they are the last team. <laughs> this award is presented to the Savannah River Site F-Tank Farm Closure Team for their successful effort on the grouting and closure of four high-level waste tanks. This historic event has been a top priority for the Department of Energy and has been touted by regional stakeholders and regulators as the single greatest risk reduction initiative in South Carolina in the last 15 years. Over five years of effort went into the development and execution of a technical and regulatory path that led to the removal of waste and stabilization of the cleaned tanks. Grouting of these tanks is a symbol of the department's progress in cleaning up the environmental legacy of the Cold War. We now recognize Gregory P. Flack, Kim A. Hauer, Brenda T. Hayes, James E. Herbert. <coughs> D. 
Daniel I. Kaplan, Mark H. Layton, William M. Leviton. Mark J. Mahoney, Kathleen O. Martin, Matsi N. Indinguan. Larry B. Romanowski, Sherry R. Ross, Kent H. Rosenberger, James W. Rush. Jolene K. Seitz. She looked me off. That was good. <laughs> Terrell J. Spears. <laughs> yes. Uh, Linda C. Sutora. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. Glenn A. Taylor, Stephen A. Thomas, and Daniel C. Wood. If the team would, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, a, I'm about to lose my job. <laughs> And that was Daniel C. Wood. If the team would uh, come back for, th for the photo. And we now have the Secretary's Excellence Award. This award is bestowed on individuals who have a singular accomplishment that demonstrates a high level of performance and outstanding leadership in public service. The individual's overall achievement must be substantial, outside the normal course of duty, and significantly benefit the department's mission and the nation. Alexander R. Larzalier. In recognition of his leadership of the Energy Innovation Hub, known as the Consortium for the Advanced Simulation of Light Water Reactors. These hubs were envisioned to focus the research and development capabilities of the department on innovative solutions to the grand scientific and engineering energy challenges of our time. The consortium was the first hub and was the first hub and through Alex's vision and dedication it has achieved an unparalleled level of success. The hub mod created by Alex is being used throughout the department by other hubs as well as traditional research and development programs. He has worked tirelessly to make the concept of energy innovation hubs a reality and has deservingly earned the unequivocal respect of the national laboratories industry leaders, universities, 
and his DOE colleagues for his contributions to the Department of Energy and our nation's clean, safe, and secure energy future. Alex Larzalier is awarded the Secretary of Energy's Excellence Award. make an ad lib here. Uh, I was really very, very happy when uh, the, the word came up that Alex was uh, being uh, recommended for this, uh, this position. I, I would just say that uh, with this hub, uh, that uh, in their first two years, they had outstanding leadership from their board. But it turns out uh, it was actually Alex who was, who was, who was the key to making this happen. And uh, we, we appreciate it very much. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we've reached the conclusion of today's program because I can't remember my own name. <laughs> but thank you all for your participation. Once again, thank you to our reward, award recipients for your great accomplishments on behalf of the department and our nation. Did you? Uh, as the Secretary alluded earlier, uh, we've worked together a long time, and we lost a cherished co-author of a paper we wrote uh, named Arnold Cantor. Uh, and uh, I worked for Arnie uh, at the White House, and he used to say, the thing about government services, the hours are long, but at least the pay is low. <laughs> and, and so I'm reminded, and here's why, because everything you saw today, people did because it was the right thing to do, because it was their passion, because it supports the secretary and the president and an incredibly important array of missions. I couldn't be prouder uh, than I am to be here among all of you, uh, and uh, it's just a privilege to even participate in this uh, ceremony. I will turn it over to the secretary. Yeah, well, thanks, Dan. Uh, I'm just going to uh, repeat once again uh, what we all know, that these were tremendous accomplishments, and, and they really span the broad mission uh, uh, responsibilities uh, that we have. Um, and we thank all of you again uh, for those, uh, those important contributions. And uh, this is really fun. I mean, this is a, this is a, this is a really great event uh, to do. Uh, just in ending, I do want to uh, note that um, uh, about a week ago, as you know, we lost our first energy secretary, uh, Jim Schlesinger. And um, I just want to say that later on this year, we will be having another good time when we celebrate um, uh, not only his life, but his contributions to this department. And I want to say, and, it's, and it's, it's recognized in an award as well, that Jim Schlesinger was one who really appreciated outstanding performance uh, by the people here in this, in this department. So. Uh, we'll, we'll be getting back to you uh, with a chance to uh, celebrate his contributions as well. Thank you all again. Uh, it's been a great pleasure. Thank you to all of you and safe journeys. Have a great week.